Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. We are now getting closer to the month of May, and even better, May the 4th is just around the corner, and we have a lot of things building up toward the Ahsoka Tano series, all thanks to John and Dave really hyping up the fan base for this, and exactly what's in store for the next installment in the Star Wars franchise on Disney+. Plus. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new, and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all also very much for the great and kind support. Now, there's been a lot of fan criticism among Mando Season 3, myself included. I felt that this season in particular was very disjointed and a very big letdown in comparison to Mando Season 2 and even Season 1 at that. And as it turns out, it had a lot to do with Kathleen Kennedy's involvement in the script, even though she was not involved during the principal photography phase also known as just filming. So when we look at stuff like this and exactly what's been going on with the whole Pedro Pascal drama with Kathleen Kennedy, this has been an ongoing thing for the Skeleton Crew show only and specifically dedicated to that project about how he was fired and let go as Din Jaren, And of course, really just not getting involved in that show any further. Now, when we examine everything related to Kathleen Kennedy, we know that she's got something against the philosophy of George Lucas. She even came forward about this, stating that she views it as a burden, and how both the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew shows are about cutting that burden loose and doing her own thing, writing things on a blank canvas with John Watts and Leslie Headland. Now, moving on to the next big thing about all of this is that there's a lot of things going on with Din Djarin as a character. Now, with Din Djarin and his story now evolving in Mando 4, recently Kathleen Kennedy has been preparing something that will come across as controversial to the entire fandom. After Kennedy fired Pedro Pascal from the Skeleton Crew show for him not wanting to wear the helmet for a majority of the time, Kennedy has been on a hunt to replace him with a different character, but is now reverting those plans. Right now, Kathleen Kennedy's big plan is to actually bring back Din Djarin by recasting him with somebody else to play the voice of the character and for someone else to play the actual character on screen for the scenes that Pedro was supposed to do on set inside of the suit. Even though multiple people always played Din, Pedro's planned scenes for Din on screen and Skeleton Crew are now planned to be played entirely by somebody else, and that Kennedy is now seeking a new voice actor to portray Din in the Skeleton Crew series. This comes straight after Pedro getting fired, after refusing to take part in the scene that would actually kill off his character in an obscure way for the fandom. Now let me just stop here for a second. Now we talked about this about how Kathleen Kennedy had these plans of killing off Din Djarin in the Skeleton Crew series to kind of just keep a cap on how much John and Dave could use the character in the Mandoverse and exactly how far they could really go with that character until Disney executives, they stepped in and prevented all of that from happening, thankfully. Um, but basically what's happening here now is that after she fired Pedro, she was going to have a brand new character come in to take Din Djarin's place, a new Mandalorian, if you will. And those plans are seemingly now scrapped as she wants to bring Din back, but is recasting him to be portrayed by somebody else entirely new, both voice acting wise and in the suit wise. Now, keep in mind, we just pointed this out seconds ago, that multiple people always played Din Djarin, all right? There's always somebody else in the suit. Always. You know, it's not always Pedro. In fact, Pedro may very well do only a handful of scenes in the suit, uh, but it's mostly a lot of the voice acting that Pedro gets involved in. He does have some scenes here and there where he's actually in the suit or in the costume. Uh, I know that there's two other actors at least that are always on screen in The Mandalorian. It's really dependent on the context of the scenes, exactly what's involved, etc. So, in this case, with Skeleton Crew, though, there's a full-on recast happening with Pedro Pascal that's being led by Kathleen Kennedy and John Watts. 
Do I believe that this is the right call to make? Absolutely not. Do I think it's going to make a heavy difference on the show? Probably not because you're not going to really see his face. It's going to have the same exact voice because that's all modulated anyway. So it's just all a matter of ethics and I'll tap into that in just a second. It's all a matter of poor ethics by Kathleen Kennedy for doing such a thing. It just seems like something out of spite and something that just is flat out wrong, to be honest, because you could have just brought Pedro Pascal back, let's be honest here. You could have easily just said, all right, you know what? Maybe we got off on the wrong foot, let's bring it back on set. Could have been simple, you know, as simple as that, but she let him go from Skeleton Crew and that was that. And to be perfectly clear here, this is only for Skeleton Crew that Pedro was fired from. Not from anything else. Mando 4, he's back still. Ahsoka Season 2, he's still attached to. And other projects above and beyond. So, anyways, moving on. On top of this, this was before Disney executives intervened and prevented that scene of killing off Din from actually happening. However, now, Kennedy is coming into full swing on recasting and replacing Pedro Pascal and an actor who will play in Din and Skeleton Crew for the cameo scenes against the pirate gangs and the Necromancer Stormtroopers led by Thrawn's forces. By the way, those Necromancer Stormtroopers are going to have like these cracks in their armor that's going to look golden. It's going to have a very interesting design. Kennedy is said to already have an actor in mind who will take over the scenes. We're not quite sure who this actor is just yet. That Pedro was supposed to do with some of the stunts as well as the voice acting work. Now, Pedro is said to have no issues with this at all, since Din will not, not be removing his helmet, so Pascal feels this won't have a major impact on the audience, but it is poor ethics on Kathleen Kennedy's part, without a doubt. The two total cameos are said to make up a total of 20 minutes long in the Skeleton Crew show for Din, and that this recast is only for the Skeleton Crew show and does not apply to Mando 4 and other shows being led by John and Dave in total. So again, we have a lot of things going on between Pedro Pascal and Kathleen Kennedy, who were once before very connected, uh, surprisingly, now not so connected. There seems to be a disconnect, you know, because let, let's just face it, Kathleen Kennedy does not have good ethics in Star Wars and over at Lucasfilm. I mean, that's just a given fact. We have seen what she do, you know, did with previous writers to Solo. We've seen what she has done to David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. Um, you know, she always likes to hire these people that really don't know what to really do. Uh, David Lindenoff, another, you know, prime example of Kathleen Kennedy making a very poor choice earlier on in 2022 with that race-centered film that really wasn't going in the right path. So, given that Kathleen Kennedy now has little to no creative power, only with Acolyte and Skeleton Crew so far is great news, and by the way, about her firing, that's all dependent on the success of the Dial of Destiny movie, the new Indiana Jones film that will debut in just a little over one month from now. So, overall guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.